I am not a person who makes a decision well at all. And when there are a lot of options on the table for me, it can be really a nail biting experience, especially if the decision I'm making is a total lifestyle one for me or someone who I care about very much. So Allison Darris is back on the show with us. She's with Care Patrol. Yes. If you've never heard of Care Patrol, it's a national company, been in Chattanooga for about six years. Yes. And you sort of help people like me mm -hmm. who have this life challenge now of what do I do in my retirement years sure. for senior living, pick the right one. Exactly, exactly. So um, the reality is, Julie, that most people who are looking for assisted living or memory care, levels of care, are needing to do that in a crisis situation. Yes. Um, it, you know, it's due to perhaps a stroke, a fall, a broken hip, things of that nature. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, it's a medical issue that you're not gonna be able to return home in, in your normal setting, it's not a safe option for you. Mm -hmm. um, and so you quickly need to look at and explore options that are gonna meet your needs, that's gonna meet your budget, um, and then that has the availability to take you, you know, right. for you to be able to move in when you need to move in. Um, so what Care Patrol does is we work with families to really understand what their specific care needs are. Um, and we present them with community options for them to consider. We typically show them three options that we know are gonna meet their needs. Okay. Um, and then they decide what they want to go and look at and tour. We personally go with them on those tours and really hold their hand through that process. Okay, so two points. One, yes. you said um, memory care and assisted living. Mm -hmm. So if this is just conventional, I wanna downsize and move into a senior living, you don't do that. Well, actually, we can, we can help with that. Okay. I mean, we certainly do. So we do have, um, relationships with in some independent living communities. Okay. And we also have a couple of non-medical in-home care providers. Okay. So if families are interested in really exploring anything mm -hmm. that is senior living, we can help them connect with the right resources for them. Okay, something else is Allison and I talk and play 20 questions the family does not pay you. Correct. So Co this is, they are not gonna have to be out of pocket. Correct, anyway. yes. So our, our um, model, it, our services are 100% free to the family. Um, we do this because we wanna help people find the right fit for okay. them. Um, and then we get paid by communities if and when somebody moves into a community. Okay, and you work with almost everybody from we Athens do. into North Georgia. Yes. So it's not like you have a pool of five. Exactly, exactly. And you know, and, and we have things that range from, you know, budgets, levels of care, um, you know, all assisted livings mm -hmm. are licensed to do the same thing, but not all assisted livings in our area offer all of the same services. So, uh, okay, so yes. well, you had mentioned to me before we sat down, this mm -hmm. is kind of like, a, almost like a realtor. Exactly. So when you go to a house that you're looking to buy mm -hmm. with your realtor, mm -hmm. they will point out to you, you hope, okay, look, notice, Yep. This flaw yep. or this good sign. Exactly. You're going to do the same thing. We do the same thing. So when we tour communities, um, we are there to A, make sure that all of their questions are being answered. We may prompt the community to highlight something that they offer that is specifically, um, you know, enticing to mm -hmm. that family. Um, and then we're also going to help them understand pricing. Um, not all communities are priced the same. Some are all inclusive, some are a base rate with a level of care charge. That level of care charge can vary. Mm -hmm. um, so we really help people understand, make sure that we're comparing apples to apples so they can make that really informed, educated I'll, decision. I'll try to be careful how I ask this mm -hmm. question because you can't guarantee a bed to be open, a room no. to be open. No. Um, most places I think now are a, like a 30 day rental, if sure. you will, sure. right? You're not signing up for six months at a stretch. Right. So if somebody is in this crisis situation mm -hmm. and the first good thing opens up and they take it, mm -hmm. if they're then not, if they end up not being happy there, can they switch? Of course they can. Yeah, of course they can. Um, and you know, the reality is, is that um, independent living, assisted living, memory care, non-medical and home care, those are all private pay services. Um, so, you know, you, you can make a change, you know, based on your personal preference if you, if you want to. Our goal is to help people find the right place the first time. So when they contact you, mm -hmm. you're gonna meet with them, ask yes. them a slew of questions. Yes. Are there some things that they should make sure 
they ask you or that they know? Um, I think, you know, I think the, the key things that are, are helpful to have on that initial conversation or what we call an in-depth care discovery is really having a good understanding of what, what a day in the life looks like for mm -hmm. that family member, whether it's yourself, it's a parent, um, a spouse, you know, really understand what are the things that you need help with during the day. Mm -hmm. So we can get a good understanding of what's going to specifically meet your needs. Um, the other piece of that, like we just talked about, is it's private pay for these services, mm -hmm. not ours, but the communities. Um, so you, you know, being aware of what finances are, mm -hmm. if you, if you have any, you know, money in savings, if you have an idea of what the value of the home is, if you have a, a long-term care insurance policy or you're a veteran, we can help you understand what benefits might be available to you. Right. As well. Uh, does it all begin with them making a phone call to yes. you? Or do they go to your website? Yes. Or? So you can, you, they can go to our website, which is carepatrol.com. Um, like you said, it is a national company. There are uh, offices all over the country. So if this sounds like a service that would be beneficial to you, but you have a, you know, a friend or a family member who's in a different state right. um, or in the Nashville area or outside of Knoxville, there are uh, franchises that can help them. But the way to get in touch with us directly, the best way is call us at 423-779-2090. Okay. Um, we have a very small team. There's only three people on our team. Um, so when you call, you can talk to any of us. And uh, between the three of us, we have over 20 years experience in senior care in the Chattanooga area. And I personally think that's kind of a nice thing that it's just the three of you, mm -hmm. because that means that you were always gonna get one of you. Exactly. And that's a good exactly. thing. Exactly, yep. So 423. 779-2090. Or carepatrol.com yep. and then backslash Chattanooga for mm -hmm. hour one. But as she said, they're national. So if you have a mother-in-law in Minneapolis, they might be able to help. Exactly. You. Thank you, Allison. You're welcome, Julie. Thank you.